If you were to search the phrase political firebrand in the Oxford English Dictionary, you might well come across the name George Galloway, now leader of the Workers' Party of Britain and the new Member of Parliament for Rochdale. This is a man who's had more comebacks than the Rolling Stones, a chequered career in politics, broadcasting and sitting down for a coffee and donuts with wicked dictators. Galloway is anything but dull. So, a brief history. He joined the Labour Party at the age of 13 and first became an MP in 1987, taking the seat of Glasgow Hillhead. He was instantly an outspoken backbencher, not always to the delight of the front bench. Gorgeous George, as he became known, mostly because of his personal life rather than his political one, was not a man to hold back. He also wasn't one to toe the party line, a staunch supporter, a staunch opponent of the First Gulf War and famously chastised, of course, for meeting the Iraqi dictator Saddam Hussein in 1994. We remember it well. He told Saddam he saluted his courage, his strength and his indefatigability. The Labour Party weren't happy. And when he met the Iraqi leader for a second time and started publicly attacking Prime Minister Tony Blair over the Iraq war, he was expelled from the Labour Party. But Galloway was going nowhere. He simply formed a new political party called Respect with a central anti-war message. It was enough to see him win at the seat of Bethnal Green and Bow, booting out the incumbent Labour MP Una King. And just days later came that famous appearance in front of the US Senate, where the Yanks accused him of profiting from selling million, millions of dollars worth of Iraqi oil. No, it was always a bizarre claim. And Galloway gave them both barrels. And it was, to be fair, impressive stuff from gorgeous George. Just a year later came that awkward and just plain weird appearance on Celebrity Big Brother. Rumour has it, Rula Lenska never recovered. Now, would you like me to be the cat? Is it gone? Galloway was rarely out of the spotlight with copious media appearances on TV and radio programmes. He even worked here for a bit, but there was yet another political comeback to come. In 2012, he won the seat of Bradford West. That was at the height of the Arab Spring. Again, another seat gained from Labour. He's been a politician, a disruptor, a broadcaster for both Russian and Iranian state TV, and now, as of last night, an MP for five constituencies in five decades. But what does this win say about the current state of British politics?